Drawing curves with the pen tool is probably the scariest thing about it, and people just don't understand exactly what the pen tool does, and that's why they get a little nervous. But in this movie, hopefully I'll give you a breakdown of what the pen tool is actually doing as you're creating curved lines to help you understand it a little better. So let's go to the file menu and choose new. Just accept the defaults to whatever type of document it has in there, and then grab your pen tool. You can do that by pressing the letter P on your keyboard. And so we know how to draw straight lines. That's fairly easy. You just click and click to draw a point. But what if you want to draw a curved line? Well, let me undo that, Command or Control Z. And then as I'm drawing this out, watch what happens when instead of just clicking, I click and hold my mouse and then start to drag. The interesting thing about curves with the pen tool is you have to drag the curve in the opposite direction you want it to go. And I think that's what is causing people to have almost like a fundamental disconnect with this tool. They, they don't get that you have to drag down to make the curve go up, or you have to drag up to make the curve go down. It's just, it goes against what we think should happen because we're used to drawing by hand, so we think, okay, in order to draw an upward curve, we move our hand up. Well, not with the pen tool. You actually have to go in the opposite direction. So in this case, if I wanted to, I can just draw this straight up, something like that, make a curve. Now, the other interesting thing here is the preview of the pen tool is going to let me know exactly what this is going to do if I were to draw another point right here. So I don't even have to make this curve, this second point. All I do is just click, and it draws out that same curve that I just had, which is pretty neat. Now, I can come here, and what I'm going to do is curve this out, something like that. Here's the part that kind of weirds people out. See how when I come back here, what I want, I'm trying to draw a fishtail. And I want it to curve back inward a little bit. But when I try to make another point, it thinks I'm making like a circle. So how do I get it, by pressing Command or Control Z, how do I get it to make it do what I want it to do? Well, you have to sort of educate the pen tool on what you want to do here. So I'm going to cover this extensively when we talk about using the keyboard a little bit later on. But just for now, hold on the Option key on Mac, the Alt key on PC, and just click right here on this anchor point. And you'll notice one of the control handles goes away. That's just telling the pen tool, hey, for now, ignore the curve, okay? I just want you to do what I want you to do. And so now I can draw a curve that goes in instead of out, just like that. I can continue this right around there and then complete it right back over here, and I'll just click and drag to complete it. And there we go. A nice little whale or fish or whatever you perceive it to be, but in any case, it's not that difficult to draw. It's just a few clicks and a few drags, and that's all that a curve is. It's just you coming to grips with the fact that you have to drag in the opposite direction that you want the curve to go, and then knowing how to make the pen tool behave how you want it to. That little alter option click that I did right there, just people just aren't aware of that, so they don't understand how simple it is to just sort of reset the pen tool and say, you know what, I want you to do this instead. They just click, they see it do something funky, and then they think, oh man, I just can't do this. You can do this. It's really, really simple. You just have to know how it works before you get going.